This episode of Fleet Equipment's On the Road is brought to you by Wix Filters. Visit wixfilters.com for more information and enjoy the show. Brakes are the backbone of a truck safety system. Drum brakes are the traditional solution, but what if I told you there was another option that offered improved stopping distances and reduced maintenance, but was held back by every fleet manager's least favorite four-letter word? To crack the airdisc brake market wide open, SAF Holland unveiled its new P89 lineup consisting of two offerings, a base model and a premium model. We're heading to Grand Rapids, Michigan to get the full story on this episode of Fleet Equipment's On The Road. I'm Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment Magazine. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the phone calls, emails, blogs, likes, tweets, and more. So I'm hitting the road to talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On The Road. SAF Holland's P89 Airdisc brake is designed as an entry-level brake for high-volume fleet orders. The P89 Plus is positioned as a top-of-the-line Airdisc brake, which offers a 7-year warranty and innovations such as internally sealed bearings that prolong wheel end life. I sat down with Stefan Schwerda, SAF Holland's President of the Americas, and Roger Jensen, Product Manager, Trailer Axles and Suspensions, to talk about what the company's dual offering means for fleets and how it could impact the overall brake market. Right off the bat, the P89's price point makes it stand out. While most Airdisc brakes haul along a $900 to $1,200 premium compared to drum brakes, the P89 premium will be between $700 and $800. It's a cost savings that SAF Holland hopes will motivate fleets to put more Airdisc brakes on the road. With the introduction of the new P89 and the 89 Plus, how quickly do you anticipate that market penetration getting eaten up here going forward? Well, okay, when we, when we do the math, today we estimate we're somewhere around the 10% mark for disc brake penetration on the trailer side. Mm -hmm. um, and when we go to 2020, our conservative estimation would be 25%. Mm -hmm. We heard estimations as big as 40%, but we stay more on the 25% level. So we think um, with this initiative and these products, it will take off, it will accelerate mm -hmm. over the next 12 to 24 months. Okay. Um, so that's what that's what our estimation is. So if, if you ask me, I would I would estimate that by the end of 2018 we might see somewhere a penetration rate between 15 and 20 percent. The P89 Plus eliminates traditional wheel seals thanks to precision bearing spacers that are installed between the inner and outer bearings to control bearing preload. It's a brake that SAF Holland expects to see more fleets moving toward as they become more comfortable with the Airdisc brake's total cost of ownership. So beyond uh, 24 months then, how do you see this product line evolving? I mean, a dual option here where you have kind of a base model, then a premium model. Do you see the, the P89 being a kind of a gateway product that when this gets into the fleets, they'll move to the plus, or is that strictly high volume and it'll evolve as is? So that's a great question. You know, uh, we're constantly evolving and coming up with new products to respond to fleets. And uh, we, we see the P89 as being our, our platform for future development. So our base model can be expanded up to the plus version, which includes our high-end features. Um, in the future, we hope to keep expanding that P89 to offer new uh, options options to tailor to whatever the specific fleet needs are going to be. Mm -hmm. Well, the P89 is an entry level. When, when you talk to the fleets, there is a certain threshold in, ter in terms of premium. The interest in disc brakes is there for, for a lot of years already. Mm -hmm. So we have discussions um, with, with major fleets for a few years, but always the premium on the OE side, um, there was the obstacle. Mm -hmm. to get a higher penetration of disc brakes and we trying to entice the fleets with the P89 on this entry level to, to have a closer look at the disc brakes and the premium um, which is in place now. Um, the P89 Plus is clearly some for, for, for people who uh, go to the seven year warranty um, want to reduce maintenance as much as possible and, and see the payback. For outtakes from my interview with SAF Holland and even more episodes of Fleet Equipments on the Road, head over to feontheroad.com.